Hello everyone, hello grade eight students. So in this video, we will discuss about on how to make a rational expression undefined. Now let's define first the important words or important um, pointers um, about rational expression. First is the domain. The domain is the set of all possible values of the variable that are allowed. So, ibig sabihin yung domain, ito yung mga values na kapag sinubstitute natin sa variable, ay hindi mag equate sa zero yung denominator. Okay? So, kapag sinabi naman natin restricted values, it can make an algebraic expressions undefined. Now, if you uh, if you can recall or remember, kapag yung y or yung denominator down natin is nag equal to zero, that is undefined. Okay. Now, how to make a rational expression undefined? You have to equate the denominator by zero. Okay. Kailangan daw yung denominator natin is equate natin sa zero, and then after that, you will solve for the variables. Right? So, paano natin gagawin yun? Let's have an example here. Alright. So, for example, we have 2a squared over a minus 3. Now, first thing to do is to equate the denominator into 0. So, we have here a minus 3 equals 0. Okay? Since kailangan ma-equate yung denominator into 0. Next thing to do is to transpose the negative 3 dito sa kabila or on the other side. So we have now a is equal to 0 plus 3. Okay? Now solve for the variable. That is the next step. So we have a is equal to 0 plus 3 that is equal to positive 3. Now, ito na yung gagamitin nating value to make a rational expression undefined. Okay? Isasubstitute lang natin yung value ng A, which is positive 3, dito sa lahat ng um, variable na A sa original expression natin. So, we have 2A squared over A minus 3. Substitute natin 2. Equals our 2 times the quantity of 3 squared. Yan, magiging positive. And then 3 minus 3. Alright? So 2 times 3 squared is equal to 9 over 3 minus 3. And then 2 times 9 is equal to 18. And then... 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, since nag-equate sa 0 yung denominator, ang sagot is undefined. Okay? That is how you simply make a rational expression undefined. Okay, let's have another example here. Let me clear this one first. And next example. For example, we have 7 over... The quantity of x minus 2 times the quantity of x plus 1. Okay? Now, since we have here um, two expression, ang gagawin natin is we have now two um, possible values. Okay? So, we have x minus 2 and x plus 1. Okay, ang gagawin lang natin is equate natin yung dalawa sa 0. Okay, so we have x minus 2 is equal to 0 and x plus 1 is equal to 0. Alright, so let me write this first here. So we have x plus 1. This is equal to 0. And also this is equal to 0. Alright, transpose lang natin yung negative 2 sa kabila. So we have x is equal to 0 plus 2. And that is equal to 0 plus 2. That is equal to positive 2. Next, x plus 1 equals 0. 
Uh, transpose lang natin yung positive 1. So, ang magiging sign niya na is negative 1. So, we have x is equal to 0 minus 1. 0 minus 1, that is equal to negative 1. Now, ito lang yung iiwasan natin. Okay? Sa domain, di ba sabi sa domain, that is the set of all possible val values. Okay? So, ito yung hindi pwedeng gamitin sa domain. Okay? Na values na i-substitute natin sa variables. Okay? Kasi kapag ito yung ginamit natin, pag i-equate siya sa zero palagi. Okay? Paano mangyayari yon? So, we have to transpose. I-try natin lahat i-substitute. So, we have 7 over x minus 2. I-substitute na natin. So, we have... x is equal to 2 minus 2 times the quantity of 2 plus 1. Okay? And then, 7, 2 minus 2, that is equal to 0. 2 plus 1, that is equal to 3. Then, 0, plus, zero times 3, that is equal to 0. So, yung sagot niya is undefined. Alright? Okay. Let's try naman itong value ng negative 1. So we have 7 over the quantity of negative 1 minus 2 times the quantity of negative 1 plus 1. Okay? Okay. So solve for the value of x or the value, yes. So we have 7 over negative 1 minus 2. That is equal to negative 3. In add natin siya since they have the same sign. All right. So we have negative 1 plus 1. That is equal to 0. And then if you solve for the variable or for the denominator negative 3, Times zero, that is equal to zero. So the answer is undefined. All right? That's how simply uh, making the rational expression undefined. First, you will just equate the denominator into zero, and then you will solve for the variables. Okay, let's have more examples. Example number three. Now, find every value of the variable that makes each expression undefined. So again, first step is to equate the denominator into zero. How will you do that? X plus 3 is equal to zero. And then transpose X is equal to zero minus 3. Okay? Ang gagawin lang natin kapag nagtatranspose, chini-change natin yung sign. Okay? So from positive, you will have negative. And also from negative, you will have positive. And then solve for the value of x. 0 minus 3, that is equal to negative 3. Okay? So this is now the value of the variable. So change natin or replace or in simply we will just substitute the given or the value of x. So we have 3 times negative 3 squared over negative 3 plus 3. All right? So we have to solve negative 3 squared, that is equal to 9. And then negative 3 plus 3. 3 times 9, that is equal to 27. And then negative 3 plus 3, that is equal to 0. So the answer is undefined because the denominator is equal to 0. All right? So let's try another example. All right. So again, we have here two different values. Okay? Two different expression. So we have 2 over x plus 3 times the quantity of x minus 3. 
So if you observe, this is an example of a, um, a perfect square, okay? That is a perfect square. Ayan. So we have to equate the denominator into zero. So x plus 3 is equal to 0. And also x minus 3 is equal to 0. So transpose lang natin. So we have x is equal to 0 minus 3. And then solve for the value of x. x is equal to 0 minus 3. That is negative 3. And then x minus 3 is equal to 0. Transpose lang natin yung negative 3. So magiging positive. 0 plus 3, that is equal to positive 3. So let's try to solve, to substitute dito sa given. So we have 2 over the quantity of, let's try first the value of negative 3. So we have negative 3 times or plus 3 times negative 3 minus 3. So solve negative 3 plus 3, that is equal to 0. And then negative 3 minus 3, that is equal to negative 6. And 0 times negative 6, that is equal to 0. So the answer is undefined. Okay? Next, try naman natin itong positive value ng 3. So we have the quantity of 3 plus 3 times the quantity of 3 minus 3. So we have here 3 plus 3 that is equal to 6 and then 3 minus 3 that is equal to 0. Now 2 over 6 times 0 that is equal to 0. So the answer is undefined. All right. Ganun lang siya kadaling gawin. Now, sa expression ng mga examples natin, meron tayong mai-encounter na iba't ibang um klase ng expression. Merong perfect square trinomial, difference of two squares, um uh, perfect square trinomial. Okay? So, let's try Okay, ito, alam naman na natin to, Naging example na natin ito kanina. Alright. So, if you observe, we have 5R over R squared minus 4. So, this is an example of difference of two squares. Now, we can apply our previous topic, okay, our prior knowledge about factoring. Okay po, factoring difference of two squares, difference of two cubes, factoring perfect square, perfect square trinomial, factoring quadratic trinomial, and factoring trinomial. Right? Magagamit natin lahat ng diniscuss natin noong first grading. Okay? On how to factor a um, an expression. Okay? So this is a... Uh, difference of two squares. Let's factor it first. R squared minus 4. So let's get the square root. Each problem. So the square root of R squared is R. And then the square root of 4 is 4. Uh, the square root of 4 is 2. So that is 2 squared. So we have here r squared um, minus 4, yung magiging factored form niya is r plus 2 times the quantity of r minus 2. Right? Okay. Now, since we have now the factored form, yung magiging form niya na is 5r over r plus 2 times the quantity of r minus 2. Okay? So, let's equate the denominator into 0. 
So we have R plus 2 magiging R plus 2 is equal to 0 and R minus 2 is equal to 0. So transpose lang natin. Itong R plus 2 magiging R is equal to 0 minus 2. And then kapag sinolve natin magiging negative 2. Next, we have R is equal to 0 from negative magiging positive. So we have R is equal to 0 plus 2 that is equal to positive 2. Okay, so let's substitute the given values negative and positive 2. So we have here 5R over, let's try the negative value first. Negative 2 plus 2 times the quantity of negative 2 minus 2. Okay, so we have here negative 2 minus 2 that is equal to 0 times negative 2 minus 2 minus or negative 4. And then 0 times negative 4 that is equal to 0. Okay, so by the way, ito pala, nakalimutan nating isolve or isubstitute yung value ng negative 2. So we have 5 times negative 2 that is equal to negative 10. Okay, so palitan natin ito. We have negative 10. But it's okay, since yung importante lang naman is denominator, so since naging 0 or nag-equate to 0 yung denominator, ang sagot is undefined. Now let's try the positive value. Okay? Ito namang positive 2. So we have 5R over 2 plus 2 times the quantity of 2 minus 2. Okay, so we have 2 plus 2. We have 4. And then 2 minus 2, that is equal to 0. Okay, and then 5 times 2, that is equal to 10. And then 4 times 0, that is equal to 0. So the answer is undefined since yung zero or yung denominator natin is nag-equate sa zero. Alright? So I hope it's clear everyone. That is it for our discussion. Okay? Um, always remember na kapag um, mag, kapag magsosolve tayo or kapag gagawin natin undefined, yung rational expression, we will just equate the denominator by zero. All right? And then, after you equate the denominator into zero, you will solve for the variable. And the most important thing is to know again about how, about on how to factor an expression. Okay? So, Yun ang pinaka-importante sa paggawa or sa pag-change ng rational expression into a undefined. Okay? Factoring is the most important. Okay? That's why we discuss it first be before we proceed on the rational expression. Because um, that is the um, foundation para mas ma solve natin yung rational expression. All right? And on our next discussion, we will have a simplifying rational algebraic expression. All right? So I hope you guys understood our discussion for this video. And always remember that God is good all the time. Keep always safe and take care of yourself, everyone. Bye-bye. God bless everyone.